Good afternoon. We start here at 430 with a renewed push for answers. Finally, some answers on a difficult at an anniversary. Today marks 13 years since the disappearance of Lauren Spear. The IU sophomore vanished back on June 3rd, 2011 in Bloomington. Yeah, more than a decade later, this case remains unsolved, but it is once again getting some national attention. A new book and a new plea from her family mm. hoping to finally find Lauren. So here's what we know about the case. That night, Lauren was out partying with friends. She stopped at a bar, a friend's apartment, a party at some townhomes. She was last seen on surveillance video that you see right here at 4 a.m., but that's where the trail goes cold. Bloomington police tell 13 News this is not a cold case. They say in the last two years they've investigated 30 new leads in Lauren's disappearance. Also, just today, Lauren's family shared an emotional post on Facebook saying they are, quote, tired of no movement, no answers, no suspects. Those responsible are cunning and committed to each other to never give Lauren or us peace. Her parents ended that post 13 years of June 3rd, lost but not forgotten, mm. always loved. Now, the push for new answers is also getting some help from an investigative journalist and author. Sean Cohen just published a book about the case called College Girl Missing. He got access to files from the Spears private investigator and shares details about the young men in Bloomington last to see Lauren alive. 13 years later, there's still not a shred of evidence that she ever made it out of those townhouses alive. So what I did was focused on the facts, what, what is known, what the people were saying who were in the mix. I'm not giving a conclusion. I, I just want people to read the statements, um, see what they said to me uh, when, I, when I finally tracked them down and got them talking. Um, let's have a fresh discussion about the case. If you know anything that could help investigators, remember you can leave a tip anonymously. We have all the contact information by mm. phone, by email, online, WTHR.com. And, you know, I talk to the Spears, the, the, her parents, pretty regularly, mm -hmm. and they say it's the not knowing yeah. that is the most difficult. Yeah. And, uh, you know, it's 13 years, it's just hard It just to breaks believe. your heart. Yeah. I mean, it broke your heart the day after it happened. Sure. But all these years later, it breaks your heart knowing that somebody knows something. Yeah, People and just hasn't spoken something. up. Yeah. Yeah, hopefully someone does soon. Indeed.